and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Selesnia Enchantments now. So our, our last deck tonight that we're going to be trying for in the uh, metagame challenge. Haven't had the most success today, but I've also been pretty rusty. I've been making some mistakes that have been costing us. Uh, hopefully I play a little bit better here. Um, but yeah, we're got, we got uh, Selesnia Enchantments. As you all know, I just really like uh, the green-white colors, the green-white color combination and... Um, and, uh, we got a brand new green, white planeswalker with Calyx, which is pretty sweet. I, the last time that we played this deck, I really liked Calyx. Uh, as you can see, I've switched up, I've switched up the deck a, just a tad bit since the last time we played it. We had a few more like twos and one ofs, especially at the top end that we were trying out and I kind of determined that I really liked Archon and Elspeth Conquers Death. And so that's what, that's what really what our top end is. I'm also going to try just like one Sentinel's Eyes. It's not a very good enchantment, but it is just an enchantment to trigger like our Nessian Wanderer and our Satessan Champion. And it, and uh, Archon, of course. And we can find it with Calyx. But the thing about it is we don't really use our graveyard for anything. And so even even though it can, uh, like whenever the creature dies that we put on the Sentinel Eyes on, we can kind of recast the Sentinel Eyes from the graveyard um you know pretty easily it was just escape too and uh you know just kind of keep on using it so that's that's something that could be good uh, get more enchantment triggers so we'll see how this goes uh you know like our deck is just trying to get a whole lot of card advantage with satessan champion being our main card but then we also have nessie and wanderer getting us lots of lands and dryad letting us play those extra lands um and then just trying to go over the top with like archon calyx getting the card advantage um and, you know, just getting all that card advantage and eventually finding Champion Archon and a bunch of enchantments. That's really about all we're doing here. Um, we do use the Graveyard, I guess, a little bit with the Elspeth Conquer's Death. But anyway, let's give this a try. Let's see how it does. Uh, like I said, we're going to be going over to the metagame challenge. Huh. I'm going to reset Arena. It looks like Arena is acting pretty slow you saw like how long it took to load i haven't reset arena this whole time so let's just reset arena so sorry about that y'all on youtube can hit just the fast forward 30 seconds all right so metagame challenge i'm just gonna use 400 gems and the enchantments. All right, hopefully we can string together a nice set of wins. Let's let's go. So tomorrow, you know, we'll be doing best of one day Monday. Uh, tomorrow, um, I'm gonna try to have like some some new decks, some new brews like for best of one. And then, uh, no, I do not Tesla. And then. Uh, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you know, I got some some more donation decks to get to, and I'll also, you know, start making some new decks and everything. No, I'm I'm not I'm not considered cutting animations. Yeah, Storm. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, do that. I'd I'd appreciate that. The Medicaid challenge is the same as it always has been. As far as entry fee and... the Dryad. Does not want me to play multiple lands a turn, but doesn't mind if I draw multiple lands. Ugh. I don't like that. 
that. I like everything in my hand. I don't want to get rid of Calyx. I guess it's Destiny Spinner. But, you know, I was going to be able to go, like, Spinner, Banishing Light next turn, get double trigger on Archon and Wanderer. Oh, should I should exiled should exiled Calyx. So yeah, I want to keep hitting land drops. Well, that's not a land drop. And yeah, you know, I, I can. Calyx minus and exile something else. Eh, good thing we got rid of that cauldron familiar. Just let me exile. They didn't sack to oven. So I'll just attack with the Archon and keep the Pegasus and the Wanderer back. Yeah, that's what Calyx's minus three does. It basically, um, you know, it, it exiles something until an enchantment that you control leaves the battlefield. That was like a perfect draw step. That was a perfect draw step. All right, hopefully I can find another Banishing Light to get rid of the Nightmare Shepherd. Pick up first. There it is. The patterned future appears before me. All right. So we can have a couple of devout decrees. Another uh, Elspeth conquers death doesn't sound so bad. Some more prison realms. Um, do you want to destroy witches' ovens? We have banishing light right now that can get rid of witches' oven. Yeah, it's true. Intervention does destroy the Shepherd also. So I like that. And yeah, that's true. Let's just play some interventions because then we can also just, you know, gain a bunch of life if they're like draining us out. We can also just do that. Maybe I don't play another Prison Realm. I don't know. These things seem really good against the Mono Black deck. I'll take out one Elspeth Conqueror's Death. No, like Destiny Spinner doesn't do a ton for us, but it's still an enchantment. It's basically just an enchantment that triggers the other enchantments. The, or like the enchantment cards. You need to keep a high density of enchantments. That's why I took it out instead of Starfield Mystic, even though Starfield has a lot more valuable ability.
Yeah, that's exactly what this is, a synergy deck, yeah. We don't have individually super strong cards, so they play, yeah, it plays really well together. Yep, that's exactly what we got. So hoping... <clears throat> hoping our Archon of Sun's Grace can stick around now. Nope. Maybe Kallax can stick around now. I was created for one purpose, restoring order to Theros. Basically, decree is not, um, you know, not an enchantment. You dare defy the gods? The patterned future appears before me. All right, I'm gonna hopefully find a white mana source. Nope. Oh, we'll display the temple then. I right, need another temple. They could have Farika's Libation and make me sacrifice an enchantment. That's something they could have, I guess, after sideboard. The stars will light our way. Mm. Alright, let's get some more land drops. Temple Garden. Another Temple Garden. Then in the deck. And then if we could find another Dryad and play a bunch more lands. And yeah, then eventually Destiny Spinner starts making trample lands. Beyond Theros to explore. The pattern future of It's also good to have a have mana available for Alcid. Alright. Keep hitting all those land drops and you get to just play everything. Only a fool stands in Ooh, my uh, we got a pack. And some mastery stuff. Let's crack our pack. Come on, get a mythic. Nope. No mythic. Alright, mastery tree. Where are we at? So it looks like we are finishing up blue. Yeah, it looks like we got a draft token. One traditional draft entry. That's pretty cool that they're doing that. Can we get to two wins? We haven't gotten to two wins. I used to play a whole lot of limited back in the day. I, ha I haven't really played limited in like the last year too much. Uh, yeah, Margio, uh, Hawkeye did not make it. Unfortunately. Hawkeye okay, passed away. Alright, we're 
trying to mulligan. It was so close to being a good one. So, we'll, you know, of course, lead with Starfield Mystic on turn two. Because we want to wait for... Um, yeah, we'll just play this. We're going to have Satessin Champion in play first. Hmm. This allows me to play champion and spinner next turn. Or not. I need to draw a land to play both of them. If I don't, I, I'll probably just play Calyx. Maybe better just to play Calyx anyway. Oh, Calyx doesn't get lands though. Yeah, it's probably still just better to play Calyx. For the damage to destiny. I am blessed by Nyx. This show me my path. Play resolve. Done. Did not resolve. Thank you, Moonlight Star. See, so yeah, at least we <clears throat> we do have an answer to Reclamation if they would play Reclamation. With that. I just want Gadwick. I'm gonna get Gadwick out of here though. Which I guess I should have ticked to this up first, because then. Yeah, I should have just took this up first and then grabbed the Elspeth Conqueror's Death. So then they wouldn't have known about it. Calyx is minus seven. Works really well with Elspeth Conqueror's Death also if they would destroy him.
for the supremacy of the gods. All of the calyxes. Mm. That's not a bad card. There we go. But I want something that gets rid of. <coughs> Wilderness Reclamation. Which I guess Calyx does that already. I don't I don't know anything about that deck cues. Okay. All Spath Conqueror's Death is just awesome. That's just really good. Like makes their non-creature spells cost more and everything too. Like that's pretty sweet. I don't think this is a very good Sentinel's Eyes matchup with them having all the instant speed interaction. And honestly, probably not the best Starfield Mystic either. Trim and Archon, you know, like they have like their that red sweeper. Let's try this. Yeah, yeah, I've been I've been very happy with Calyx. Still, you did good. You did good, Brian. Good job. Shumway, four months now. Thanks, Shumway. So close again. That's forty six, looks like. Nope. You. Hey, Jay Knight. Hope life's going good. Basically, I just didn't think we need two four drops immediately in our hand, and I'd rather just have the four lands to make sure that we could, you know, get to four mana to play that, because, you know, we could just keep, like, the four drops and then not... Uh, and if we just keep the four drops, not keep the lands, then there's a good chance that we could kind of be stuck on lands and not be able to play the stuff, in, like, everything in our hand. Hey, Gator Frank. Especially with a card like Septessin Champion, like this this card, you know. Normally, like when you're drawing more cards, you, you know, theoretically you have more spells to play. You need your land drops to keep up.
spy glass is kind of odd. Whoops. I meant to say trample. I just kind of clicked past that. Oh, crack the fable passage. Thanks, JJ. Corgi's my favorite dog. Corgo for the song. They may they may name Calyx again. Or they may name Fable Passage. They play Fable Passage as well. Yeah, it's basically sinkhole. Yeah, one fable passage in their graveyard right now. Okay. So wouldn't it be great if they have the Wrath? The Red Wrath. Yay, no Red Wrath. Now these things are 3-5s. Sweet. Another victory. We have gotten to two wins. Finally. Yeah, we need to play some more Hushbringer. I already got a, a Hushbringer Boros deck. You know, like the, we, the one that like we played last format that I'm going to be bringing back, updating that. It does seem that Hushbringer... Hushbringer looks to be really good right now. This was the... Selesnia deck I made day one. Short keys. I have never made or played or played against any Bogle deck. I don't have a reason why I'm playing this over Bogles. I don't I don't know. I don't know anything about Bogles. I'm much more of a mid-range player, just in general. I like mid-range decks. That's what I enjoy playing. I'm not a big fan of Bogle decks.
You're playing Hushbringer and a Boros hero, hero deck. Nice. No, I don't, I don't have a Grixis control deck. Um... I have, yeah, I haven't haven't played Grixis yet in this this format. So much existence beyond Theros to explore. Clothis, show me my path. Do you think this could be a top tier deck? Um I don't know. It you can go over the top of this deck, like Simic decks and stuff like that. It's Simic and control can be kind of tough. Okay. Call it Sneak and Thassa. All right, yeah, J Knight. Yep, I will give that a try. I'll write you down here. J Knight, is there? Is there? Like, uh, as far as, like, early on in the stream or later in the stream are, like, what what works better for you? I'll begin to it, like, probably, you know, like, Wednesday or Thursday. I have a little bit of a backup here on, on donation decks now. But do you have a, a preference for, like... Early or late. Um. Hushbringer does nothing against Nissa. As in, like, it doesn't affect Nissa at all. Like you can obviously you can still like attack and all that kind of stuff, but there's no. Skyward and receive the gifts of the gods. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to try to have all the donation decks done by uh, by like Thursday or Friday. You are I just have I have 6 now. Okay. So late in the stream, okay. You don't get home till like 8:30. All right. So all of you for like last. Hey, Sambin. Thank you so much. I am back. I thank you, thank you. you make this battle exciting for me. I'm doing a little better. Ah, undo, undo. Trying to update the sub goal. There we go. All right, sacrifice two creatures. I think we have to just sacrifice the the Wanderer and the Owl Seed so that we can attack the Liliana for two. Hmm. Guess I could have attacked for two with this thing if I would have kept the other card. will light our way. Hey, 
Hey, Papa Croft. It's good to be back. Wow. Kind of a surprise they're exiling that over Calyx. I guess they don't have a sweeper. trick for this. Well, I was just planning on attacking the Narset for two and then them for two, but obviously... I guess, yeah, I guess I could have just put this on one of these things and attack for three and then attack them for two. I guess I could have done that. Um, do I have a 1v1 list for this archetype? I think, I'm guessing you mean like a best of one list, which I think you can just basically use the, the same list. In best of one. With thoughtfulness before action. Um, I think it would do pretty well. Oh, that's true. I would not have drawn. Because we had to kill the Narset first. Good call. Make sure that thing died. Show me my path. Yeah, I just don't have any. I don't have any reason to really pop this right now. You know, we, we get to tap it for mana with Dryad. <clears throat> if it turns out we really want to reshuffle, we can. of the gods. Yeah, it, hap it happened very suddenly with Hawkeye. That's just the, that problem. I kind of like putting it back on the Setessen Champion because they kill the Setessen Champion.
and then I get to cast that enchantment again. up. I am blessed by Nix. Hmm. Oh, that's unfortunate. And then, of course, our champions draw the lands. So if I say the two lands and Ashiok, obviously they just take the Ashiok. Like they're not, not going to take the two lands probably, right? So what if I say Ashiok or two other spells? They may just take the two other spells or two other cards. Extra cards is, is just kind of good for Dream Trawler anyway. So I don't really need to, to ultimate Calyx. We only Your get two cards back. Yeah, opponent's deck is Esper Hero. Alright, so their non-creature spells will cost two more to cast, so they basically cannot cast anything. You can only go up. So we'll just have you go up. Look skyward and receive the gifts of the gods. Exile Atreus. And 
hopefully be able to attack them for 10. That's the plan. You can use Calyx to... I should, could just do that right now, just Calyx. Get rid of the hero. I guess it's just lethal right now. Also. Out to 17 cards left. It's good when they don't find a sweeper. Makes life easier. Aw, uh, thanks, Harbinger. Thanks for the donation. And getting us the the victory sounds. The level complete. Yeah, I assume they're playing sweepers in the main deck. Yeah, thanks, Harbinger. Um, I don't really see a ton I want to change. This could be a good Gideon Blackblade matchup. I'm going to play two Black Blades over to Starfield Mystic. And call it a day. Dino for Trawler. It's just that's... I just don't think that's going to really... work out. Like, they... they can just kill the Dino. I think it'll be tough for that to work out. No, I, I don't I don't usually remove lands just when on the draw. Trust me. Thank no, I, I don't do that very often. I that is, you. you know, certainly you, something you can to do to re avoid flooding if that's something that you, that you want to avoid. But. Um, Yeah, I mean, that's, that's something you can definitely do, and post-board games do get grindier and everything like that. Depends on, like, your, your deck and your makeup of your deck. It's not... It's not a... I'm not going to just, you know, Here blanket say that, that that's a bad thing to do. That's just something I don't do too often.
Don't worry. I got this. <laughs> well, you're welcome, Wales. I'm, yeah. It's good to be back. I haven't, haven't necessarily played the absolute best, but you know, it's good to be back and getting, getting used to playing again and everything. Yeah, I don't love Starfield Mystic. It's fine, but nothing special. Hey, Plitha. And call. I like it more whenever we have Sintess and Champion, like we did last game. I liked that more. Um... There's like no way they take the one card, is there? Darn. Certainly hoping they would take the one card. Set two. And prepare. Hushbringer is just awesome in this metagame. Alright, I think I should be playing Ceratops. I'm going to be bringing in Ceratops at least. All these cards are blue. Besides Dispark and Noxious Grasp. I should probably be playing it though. Dare defy the gods? Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Clothis, show me my path. Elspeth Conqueror's Death Card has been just awesome for us, though. Should bring in another one of those. Is this pain? Look, 
my word and receive the gifts of the gods. Did put a bunch of good spells down to the bottom just a little bit ago. with your will no so I guess I guess I want Hmm. Spinner makes like three three. Wander, you know, draws cards. It's technically drawing cards. Of course, if I have enchantments left. Light our way. Spinner doesn't really activate twice. Because, you know, like you need you need to attack with like the land. It basically costs five mana to activate. But I thought we'd still have the Arden Veil. Of course, nine cards. <laughs> the one card we draw is is the enchantment, and the two the two times we tick up, Calyx, no enchantment. Sounds about right. Should just about do it. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to be able to outrace Dream Trawler anymore. We get three cards. Hey, Lich, good to be back. All right, so. Ceratops, extra Elspeth conquers death, extra Gideon, and so because I I need to take out non enchantments, which is which is basically like the reason why I keep on sideboarding out Starfield Mystic is because we need to sideboard out non enchantments because we're bringing in non enchantments. Hmm. 
Yeah, I could take out a Banishing Light with bringing in another, another Elk Sweath Conqueror's death. Banishing Light is pretty vulnerable. This hand. We got the temple. Mm. Just another four drop. I don't want another four drop. I don't know the answer to that question easy. Mono red? People think mono red is strong? Yeah, I love Phoenix. I haven't been impressed with Annex at all. Phoenix is awesome. I'm basically just... Basically just from playing... Um, the Demir Kraken deck. Um, the last few days, I had mono red. It was a pretty pretty good matchup, but uh, Phoenix is definitely the the card that. Hmm. I okay yeah like I don't know that deck. I just have. I guess I have like good answers to annex and stuff. I just haven't been. It hasn't looked that good. All right, I, there's a Setessen champion I just put down to the bottom. I am just wanting to thin right now, and so I'm cracking all of these Fable Passages, even though it would be kind of better for us to play the Temple Garden, but I'm not that worried about playing that Temple Garden. We'll be able to do that later on. So they've used one Noxious Grasp already is something that would be able to answer Gideon. Focused and disciplined. Encounter no obstacles. Keep an open mind.
No, I like Ceratops in the sideboard. I don't think it needs to be in the main deck. I like it in the sideboard. My kin are delightfully friendly. Justice, thank you so much for the 13 awesome months. I appreciate that. Nice. Exile two lands. Don't love how how vulnerable using the you know you getting rid of the Gideon makes me. I think it's just the move I need to do. This is kind of looking good. They're down to Despark and Grasp to kill the Ceratops. Or playing Hero Precinct 1. They did not have it. Awesome. Three and O. Oh. GG's. Diversity of life on each plane. All right, Guilds of Ravnica pack. I do have all the cards there. It's like, ooh, looks like we got a wild card. Mythic? Nah, regular rare. Okay, three wins. We got the 2,000 gold back and three packs and we're gonna be just kind of going off from here seeing if we get to five packs with the next win and so on hey paul i like it we got turn two wanderer Maybe I don't need to keep the land. We will likely be getting more lands. Well, this is a good one to, to have. Thins right away. Champion. No, I, I won't be Kendis. No, um, this will be it for today. Nice, that's a good card.
I could see my opponent playing the red sweeper next turn. Don't keep mana open for that. Counter unless I pay two. Okay, hopefully I'll pay my two. Definitely a really good sign for me that that resolved. Activate this once. So give the land vigilance. I'm gonna trample in haste. Uh. Oh right, Destiny Spinner. Let's things resolve. Right. Could have attacked with the Dryad also. I guess I don't really need to save this. Starfield Mystic. Why not all attack? Because, I don't know, they'd make a... Like, yeah, so, like, they block Destiny Spinner, and I do four damage to them. Basically, do I don't think we have to play that early, but maybe with the Elspeth Conqueror's death, we are just supposed to. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'm supposed to just attack all. Yeah, 
I was I was looking at the math there for the spinner, but then I was going to sack the bounty and make the Starfield Mystic uh, pro blue to make it unblockable, because then that would have made that five also, and so yeah, we were going to have lethal. So Ceratops is good against everything except for the Red Sweeper. Didn't we play against this earlier? Pretty sure we did. No, we didn't. But yeah, like, so Gideon, Elspeth Conquers Death, Heliod's Intervention, Ceratops, Knight of Autumn. Those are all pretty reasonable cards. Maybe we did play against this earlier. Yeah, I could, yep, yeah, I could sack on upkeep instead of end step. I, I did end step to save the mana to try to have the enough mana to, to double activate spinner. That's what I was thinking. I wanted to be able to double activate spinner, but then we just drew two lands and we had enough mana. Um, <sighs> yeah, song, this is Ella Henderson, uh, Ghost, the Oliver Nelson remix. This isn't great. Do I go to five? Five's not great either. Pretty surprised if we win this game. With our four mono white deck. I want to see is a really good card, especially for all the synergy that it has in the format. This is going to be a very highly played card in standard. hasn't been any particular deck that we've played against a lot more than other decks honestly it's been pretty well spread out Well, you see, the only cards in my hand are cards that destroy, that get rid of Wilderness Reclamation. <laughs> That's all I have. 
So it's like, yeah, nice, I drew the green land so I could kill it, but see, that's all I got. Vanishing Light's good against Krasis. If they play it like a Krasis, we get to just exile it and don't have to worry about the Banishing Light being gone. I wanted to play the Night of Autumn. DK Lounge. A brand new Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, BK Lounge. We're getting us to our 50 spot. Oh, it says 51. Oh, we got to the 50 spot before this. Thank you so much there, BK Lounge. <clears throat> I'm going to be owing y'all a couple of 12-hour streams here pretty soon. Yeah, deck that... The question is, can a deck that... Can a Reclamation deck win without Reclamation? Yeah, absolutely. I was hoping they were going to just ask his intervention and make me pay two and try to tap me out. <laughs> um. If they wanted to get rid of Alcide, they could have just targeted Alcide. It's not like I have ways to draw extra cards like for these extra land drops. It's basically just a 2-4. We don't need to protect just a 2-4. If my opponent wanted me to use the trigger, they would just target the Alcide, right? Like, they just want to exile Alcide. Right? I don't know. Maybe not. That's probably a good sign that they're not playing Storm's Wrath this next turn. Card away from replaying Uro. Toxic Flames. Welcome back for 22nd of month. This went 4 0 in a draft Friday and 3 0 in a draft Saturday at your LGS. Dream Trawler and the true name Nemesis guy are real good. There's a true name Nemesis guy? But yeah, Dream Trawler is really good. What's the, what's the true name nemesis guy? Oh, 
Yeah. Hectus. Hectos. Hey, munchies. <clears throat> Lisa. Together, we will prevail. Nisa is going to be tough to beat, especially if they have counter magic back up. Nisa has pieces. Harness the elements. Wow. Why are they saying good game? I can't even attack. A good game like I lose? Guess good game like I lose. Have Wilderness Reclamation plus Expansion Explosion. They finally get to use that ether gust they've been waiting on. I guess I should probably just fire off an L seed. Yeah, I guess I should have just fired off L seed. Yeah, I mean, I definitely should have. Because, yeah, this is about to do the third chapter thing. Yeah, I definitely should have. Going to game three.
So yeah, the Gideon's not great against Brazen Borrower. Hmm. Hmm. A lot of instant speed interaction for the Sentinel Eyes. Well, I'm so I'm just gonna play a couple of Gideons. Yeah, that that is just a a tragedy. Their logo. I just heard about it from people here in chat. Yeah, maybe I should just be playing more Archons. I was thinking Archon would get swept up. But obviously, like that kind of game, you know, like there's no sweeper and just a couple of borrowers, Archon would be nice. Um, yeah, I mean, we could have Shatter the Sky in the sideboard. I don't know, I just don't really. I don't, I don't love it. Like, I, I would not be bringing in Shatter of the Sky in this matchup. Not at all. I mean, it could be there, I suppose. I mean, that, that game was us not doing anything for, you know, like the first million turns. Remember that last hand that we had? It was pretty bad. It just gave them so much time. <clears throat> Good card. It's a good hand. It's not Nissa. At least not Nissa. I will lend you my strength. They shock in breeding pool. I am here to aid in the assault. I believe. You. Hey, Bataro. Thanks for getting that resub going with Twitch Prime.
Just gonna use my mana. And play this thing. If they counter it, I'm fine with that because that means Gideon sticking around. I guess they can't play Borrower anyway. They don't have double blue. Hmm. Clothis, show me my path. So now there's Ambusher. Gonna be a problematic card to deal with. Bring it on. In my light. I guess we're going to try to just exile this until the spinner leaves the battlefield, I guess. A punishment befitting of the crime. It's not great. Wish I wasn't stuck on land so much. Because, you know, I can have the Alcides protect the spinner. Kind of. Ugh. Stuck all lands. Gross. The stars will light our way. Your light will cleave the darkness. Alright, so Borrower can come down. <laughs> yeah, plus one, bottom four lands, draw another uncastable spell. Next turn, plus one, bottom four more lands. To be a little worried about another ambusher if I attack. That spinner. Look skyward and receive the gifts or like my attack with the L seeds. They said good game last time, and then I lost. After a few more turns, I feel like we have this one. Alcide has been pretty clutch in these games. Thanks, D DV. Thank you. That was a good hit. Yeah, I think we got him, Poppy.
So just like. <laughs> ah, that's still. Okay, we still. Okay, we still have this. All right. So Lesney Enchantments is getting it done. We got our 2,500 gold and five packs now. If we win this, we'll get up to 10 packs. And so on. So let's try to keep this going. Hopefully open up some mythics in these packs. Temple of Plenty. Yes, please. Don't have anything for turn three yet, but that's okay. It's just a, a good enchantment. Triggers Wander, triggers Archon. Esper. Esper's pretty tough. I think we got kind of fortunate the last time we played against Esper. They also <clears throat> thought that Elspeth Conqueror's death was really good. I guess the, the person that designed and upkeeps Deckmaster hasn't added in Theros cards yet. I don't know. I don't have a good answer of why that is. That was a couple of good Thought Erasures. Taking my two best cards, and we've just only drawn land so far. I mean, besides the one card we scry at the top. You show remorse, I'll show restraint. This might be a bad idea. I forgot about Satessan Champion. We haven't seen that card in a long time. Forgot about that card being in our deck. Golden Egg. So that's not that's not a May ability. Oh, I should keep that in hand. That was a bad. That was bad, because they just played Doom Foretold and then I have to discard. I should keep that in hand. Should be out of Thought Erasure, though, probably. Not necessarily. This isn't a fight you can win. But good chance they will be. No! I am not making this up as I go! <laughs> yeah, who knows? Maybe the opponent has like eight of them. That's more like it. Who's going to win? A Satessian champion? Or seven cards in hand and a Teferi, and some other artifacts. Time for plan B. Let's 
try this. The champion does have a castle. It's doing some work also. I'm I'm just worried about Doom Foretold. I was pretty worried about them playing Doom Foretold this turn. I think I thought this was a really good Doom Foretold turn. And so I didn't want didn't want to have to discard champion. I can discard Starfield Mystic. It's fine. I'll protect you. No, I would not re consider replacing Starfield Mystic with Incubation Incongruity. Bond to Flourishing is a much better card than that, for, especially for this deck. I would consider replacing it with Bond to Flourishing. Yeah, I would I would consider Bond of Flourishing. What's a better craft, Dryad or Nightmare Shepherd? I mean, I guess it depends on what kind of deck you want to play. Um, maybe Nightmare Shepherd? I don't know. I, they're both pretty good. Would I rather make a 1-1 one, one or let them gain 3 life? I guess let them gain 3 life. Um, I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure, Baloney Pony, maybe, um, I don't know, like, I've, I've never played the deck in best of one, honestly, and I, I haven't really, oh, I haven't I've played any best of one in, before. with this format, so I, I can't, I can't say, like, for sure that this would definitely work in best of one, I, I don't know. Hey, Toasted, I'm doing okay, thanks for asking. What am I doing? I shouldn't even play that, I should just discard it. Activating castle. <clears throat> Don't really foresee us winning this game. Let's try this. And it just they just whenever they draw a dance, the game ends. I feel like that's all we're waiting for is just them draw a dance. There's nothing else going on with this game.
Okay. Don't really know how I beat Dance with the Mance. I don't know if Heliod's intervention really does that much for us. It's like, what am I going to do with Heliod's intervention? Just destroy all, like, those eggs and stuff, I guess? And then they make them sack their own Doom Foretold, but it doesn't kill them. QQ, thank you so much. Thanks, QQ. We can give it a try, though. I guess the, the best case scenario is like blow up all the other enchantments and make them sack their own doom foretold to itself. Or... Thanks, Leto. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't change the fact that I can't beat dance. Doesn't change that. All right, we need to draw. We need to draw a land. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep all this stuff because this is just a, a pretty high upside. And then we do need to draw another land. Because then we we draw one land. We play Dryad. Dryad gets us another land from Wanderer. Obviously. No. <laughs> yeah. We did have really bad draws last game and, and now this game too. Okay, yeah, QQ, I can I can just I can just put you down on the list. Yeah, I can just put you down on the list. So here we go. It's a pretty good hand. I think it's better than my mold of five. Yeah, I mean, you have to, you can't just switch to Cardboard Live. It is. It requires you to sign up for it, and I tried signing up for it, and I, you know, just emailed them. I never got an email back, so I don't know. It's not like a program you can just download and use. I'll 
protect you. Well, we had a we had a good run. Let's see what's in our packs. We had a good run. That game <clears throat> just didn't get to play that much magic. That game, it happens. Nessian Boar, it's the worst card. Hopefully we get one Mythic out of the five packs. I'm I'm running out of rares to open up, honestly. We're gonna be we're gonna have all the rares in the set pretty soon. There's still a whole lot of mythics I don't have in the set though. Come on, one mythic. Just one mythic. Nope. Uh, at least we get to crack the vault. There we go. That's good. <clears throat> Those are... Uh, Alright, so we got... Um, you know, four wins before a loss. You know, we you know, got four wins in a row with Selesnya Enchantment. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, the two, two things that uh, this deck will definitely struggle with is... Is, you know, it can definitely struggle with control like that. Like that's that's a tough matchup, especially when we when we drew as poorly as we did those two games. And then um, uh, Simic can go over the top. Those are the things that uh, that I've kind of struggled with, just kind of in general with the Selesnya deck. But uh, there's not a whole lot of things to do about those two things. But all right. So there we go. There's Selesnya Enchantments. Um, as far as things that change about the deck, I, I don't really see anything that I necessarily wanted to change. Maybe more shifting Ceratops in the sideboard. Like, we have the, the Tristanis in here to try to stop Agent of Treachery, of course. Um, I liked the Gideons over there. I liked the Gideons. Um, maybe you don't need the Prison Realms and you can play more Ceratops. Or maybe you don't need Knight of Autumn and you can play more Ceratops instead of Knight of Autumn. That's that could be that could definitely be a thing. Uh, and then yeah, of course, Starfield Mystic. Like Starfield Mystic is fine, but I don't love it. It's just it's kind of it's kind of just that. It's kind of just fine. Um, like maybe Bond of Flourishing is the card because like all of our stuff is permanent. Every single thing in the deck is permanent, I guess, except for the Bond of Flourishing would be. So it's you know like it's. You know, gain three life that helps you stay alive, but it helps you dig for champion or, or conquer's death or calyx or anything like that. That's honestly probably just a better two drop. Um, because I, I want something else that costs two. Like I I don't really want more like three fours fives. Like I I could play like one more expensive card. Like, Elspeth Conqueror's Death was basically just always awesome. Maybe we play, like, three Bond of Flourishing, get the fourth one in there, and then that clears up another Ceratops. That clears up a slot for a Ceratops. I like that. I like that. This card is just is just amazing. But then, yeah, Bond of Flourishing helps you hit that land drop when you need it or anything. Yeah, I like that. I like that. <clears throat> there we go. That's that's a good upgrade. All right. Uh, so those of you who hit uh, watch it on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, please leave comments. I'd appreciate both of those. Uh, but thank you so much for watching some Selesnya enchantments, and I'll see you for the next video.